Oxygen Blast Technical Seminars are an Intertech production. For instructor-led.net, Java, and XML courses, visit us at www.intertech.com. Lots of resources here at Intertech to help you with your projects to include uh, RESTful implementation. So we have um, resources that are free and online available all the time, as well as training, of course. Come see me in class. I'd love to have you. And we also have consultants, too, who can help you out on your projects. So if you're thinking about doing some RESTful development, contact us. Or for that matter, any kind of application development needs that you might have, feel free to reach out and touch us. We'd love to chat with you about your projects and how we might be able to help. So what do we look at here today, gang? We looked at uh, RESTful Web Services, how they are defined, exactly what is a RESTful Web Services, how they are differentiated from SOAP-based Web Services, and how uh, SOAP-based Web Services, nothing wrong with them, but they are a little bit heavy, and how RESTful Web Services maybe make things a little bit lighter. How those RESTful Web Services work, not only in a Java sense, but in general. And then we also looked at how to make RESTful Web Services in Java using the JAX RS API, in particular the Jersey implementation. There are lots of tools and frameworks out there as we took a look at things like the RESTlet style of um, implementation as well. But the JAX RS is the sun specified means of dealing with REST web services today. And we also looked at things like the client side of Java using Jersey specific client API to talk to Java RESTful web services. And finally, we looked at what you might want to think about before you adopt RESTful Web Services. It's not an all-positive game. There are some cases where you need to think a little bit about some of those additional needs you have and whether you want to roll your own or look for solutions that might be really early bleeding edge yet at this point. With that, I'm going to pop out of my slides and take a look and see if there are any questions that we might be able to address here quickly before we head out for the day. So give me one second, gang, as I bring up. My um, browser here. So where are we? Here we go. Okay. So questions that we may uh, have a chance to answer. Let's see. Um, I have a couple of questions here, folks, about uh, the download site not yet available. We'll make sure that that's checked out and ready for you here. And again, Dan will send you some links uh, as to how to get to the slides and how to get to the demo application that you saw today. Um, I have a question from uh, Chris Schwartz about um, Twitter's REST API. It's also a pretty good reference. And yes, indeed, in fact, that's one of the resources that you'll find out there on my list of resources. Again, lots of organizations using RESTful Web Services today, gang. Not all those are going to be Java-based, but it will certainly give you a much better appreciation about how the RESTful style uh, approach to web services is uh, really kind of being uh, used broadly across our community. Um, Question here on uh, looking at Jax RS from the server side from David, wondering about how uh, the client side was addressed. Hopefully, uh, David, we took a look at that a little bit in our text here. Again, client side is not by specification, so you have to worry about that a little bit. You can certainly use something as simple as the Java, dot, uh, I should say, Java Net classes and HTTP uh, uh, classes to communicate with a RESTful web service, but then there are also client APIs uh, available. Uh, via most of the JAX RS implementations. They just aren't via specification. Uh, look at uh, Dave asks a question about uh, simple lightweight authentication capabilities with uh, REST web service. I believe we addressed uh, some of that question already with regard to, well, there are some things you can do. You can wrap everything in HTTPS, and you can kind of grow some of your own solutions, but at least to date, nothing by specification, nothing built into the RESTful community, and for that matter, nothing built into the JAXRS specification about how to deal with authentication and security issues to date. Uh, so it's kind of a roll-your-own approach at this point beyond just basic services, and that's, again, part of the, the kind of cutting edge, maybe downside of looking at RESTful web services at this early stage. Uh, how about Spring and REST, asked Darren. In fact, uh, Spring does have a REST implementation. Um, for those of you who are aware of uh, Spring, Spring with Spring 2.5 and then moving forward with Spring 3.0 uh, has a whole new paradigm for addressing what we call MVC applications. And in fact, they use their MVC annotations to also now provide, as of Spring 3, provide for RESTful style web services. However, like RESTlet was a kind of its own implementation, so is the Spring implementation, gang. Spring does provide for web services 
in REST. In fact, they actually also offer a client-side API, but it is not via specification. It does not follow the JAX RS API, at least to date. So if you're looking at doing um, RESTful-style web services in Spring, using things like POJOs and Azure resources, you can certainly do that, but it will be something that will be non-specification, non-standards based. Okay, and I think we've answered quite a few of the questions, gang. We'll take a look again. I'll, I'll work my way through a lot of the questions here, and if, uh, if I miss any, we'll make sure to post those answers out on our blog site, along with uh, some links that will go out in the emails today about where you can uh, uh, find some additional answers to those questions, which I wasn't able to address in our time here this afternoon. I want to thank you all very, very much for attending our um, conference here today, our online virtual conference. And again, I hope to um, I hope to see you back in one of our InterTech classes, or if we can help, happy to help you again, either through our uh, training room or through our consultants. So thank you very much. Hope you have a, a great day. For more free learning resources and to see the latest lineup of our instructor-led .NET, Java, and XML courses, visit us at www.intertech.com.